So keep your interactive notebook open to the chart we just created because I want you to follow those instructions um, as I go over a couple of examples because as you saw at the beginning, I want you to have spare paper, not just to write down um, numbers or number and colors, but to also um, have something to try work out with me. All right, so I'm going to give an example of what we were talking about um, to, again, model that hopefully you get it. Let's see, I'm going to do three-fifths. All right, step one, draw two rectangles. Step uh, two, we are going to partition the first rectangle into two-thirds. So I know that by my denominator, I'm going to partition into thirds, and I'm model two-thirds. One, two. All right, and then I'm going to partition the second rectangle into fifths horizontally, so one, two, three, four, five, and then I'm going to model three-fifths. One, two, three. All right, now the fourth instruction is to create like units. So I'm going to partition my first box into uh, horizontally into the same amount of units as my second box. My units in my second box are in fifths. So horizontally, I'm going to go into five parts. So one, two, three, four, five. And I am going to then look at the next step, which is to partition my second box into the same amount of units as the first box, which is thirds. And we're going to do that horizontally. So now that makes this fraction 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 out of 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I did not change the value of 2 thirds. And then this makes 3 fifths 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 out of 15. So if I were to add those together, remember our denominator stays the same. Sing that fraction song. All right. That makes 19 fifteenths. Well, we don't like to keep fractions improper, so we know we can get 15 out of 19. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 with four left over would be our final answer, okay? You're going to see problems like that pop up. All right, take a screenshot of that if you want, but here we go. I would like you to try one, and then you're gonna pause the video before I tell you the answer. All right, don't pause yet. So the problem I want you to do is two fifths plus one fourth. Go through the steps in your interactive notebook and see what you can do. Pause the video, try it, come back. All right, hopefully you did pause the video. It's really important that you get to try it and then be reinforced with um, the correct answer to see if you have any errors. So if you follow the steps in your interactive notebook, I'm going to draw two rectangles. I'm going to partition the first one into fifths vertically. So one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to model two fifths. The other one we're going to partition into fourths horizontally and model one fourth. You good there? All right, so then second, the next step is to create like units. So I'm gonna partition my first box into fourths horizontally. Next step is to partition my second box into fifths vertically. 
So now my fractions are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 out of 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 out of 20. And then denominator stays the same. Don't you change that. It's not 40. And 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, uh, 20 ths. I cannot simplify that any further. And if you got 13 20 ths, you're on a roll.